So this is a long video about truck driving in Canada. Truck drivers in Canada, question and answer. I made like four or five videos already talking about the challenges how to become a truck driver, the pay, the deals and that. And some of you are still asking me questions. Like some of you are still asking me questions on these, on that. I really appreciate your questions. Like seriously, I read every question. And today I pile up the top questions you guys ask about truck drivers in Canada. And the number one question is, can a visitor visa holder apply, you know, apply to a truck driving school? Can a visitor visa holder be a truck driver in Canada? The question is yes and no. The reason I said yes and no is because uh, as a visitor visa holder, some province, you cannot get a class five license in some province as a visitor's visa, tourist visa, or those visitors and all that. So you can get a class five license in most of the province. But I heard that Ontario, you can be getting uh, drivers, you know, the class five license in Ontario on a visitor's visa, if you have a visitor's visa. So now, if it's not true, please comment. If you are in Ontario and you see, because someone said you can become, you can get uh, a class five license in Ontario and if you can get a class five license then you can use that to apply to any truck driving school to get your class one or class three but if you are in Ontario watching my video and you do you, you know you think it's not because I, I doubt it I said no it's not true but people said it's true but if you have a valid like you know that it's true or not true please and you're in Ontario please uh, just drop a comment on uh, on this video about that but here in Alberta that I am you cannot become uh, you cannot get your class 1 or class 3 uh, if you are a visitor's visa holder because your what's it called um, your status so now your work permits your study permits you know your PR card is the one the expiring date on your PR card on your work permit will be the expiring date of your driver's license. So, and as and you need a class five before you can go for class one or three, and that is it. I think I've answered those questions. So, depending on the province, most provinces you cannot get a provisional driver's license as a visitor's holder in Canada so in most of those provinces here in Canada so every province has their own rules and regulation but generally most provinces you cannot get a provisional driver's license as a visitors in Canada is a visit you are a visitor so there are some benefits there are some things that you are not entitled to get in Canada yes now I think that is all about that uh the quest the second question is uh who can you know who can be a truck driver in canada so anybody can be a truck driver in canada so what you only need the document needed to become a truck driver is you need a provisional driver's license and uh, you need to get your class one driver's license or class three driver's license i'm going to break it down uh class one driver's license is a long truck any long you know long trailer and all that and class three is semi you know all those semi trucks and or any truck with four axles so that is that's about class one and class three if you have the money go for class one to get a class one license here in canada you you need um you, you first need a provisional license you need to go for a knowledge test you need to go for the road test you get your class five and after getting your class five then you can proceed to get your class one or class three but if you have a foreign experience you've been um you've been driving in nigeria in ghana in your you know country then you move to canada you want to continue your foreign experience doesn't count in canada like you are not recognized you have to start afresh like any other person so you and even truck schools here in canada doesn't teach you some things they only teach you how to drive truck they will not teach you how to check over weight over height how to bind how to do this and that so it's the company that employ you that will train you in most of those journey 
and here in Canada, there's nothing like motoboy you know those like you know like um assistant like in nigeria there's always someone beside truck driver you know to assist yeah no 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 you have to do it on your own you have to load unload do everything yourself so it's beginning out especially if you are someone that doesn't have experience you know before and you started it can be very tedious and all that but with time it, it's very easy because yeah you be the one there's not no assistant nobody will assist you because if you fucked up you carry your own load <laughs> like so that's one of the reasons why many companies don't like to hire new drivers because new drivers are tend to make mistakes so but i'm going to talk more about that and that's why um yeah there's nothing like assistant you know when after getting your class one you you know you get employed and after getting employed you know you have to, the, the company will train you they will guide you you know the, the, there's all this orientation period like three months sometimes six months orientation period to orientate you to teach you on how to do things in your company so now but as a driver driver here in Canada, you'll be the one to load, to unload, to bind, to check over weight, to check over height, to check this, that, 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 and everything. So now another question is, um, what is the price to become a truck driver in Canada? You know, if you're going for the class one, you know, it will cost you 10,000 Canadian dollars. Like, let's say from 7,000 to 10,000 Canadian dollars, you know, uh, depending on the province, the school that you choose. And um, yeah the province the school your location so now some location like ontario and all that you know there are so many private schools and all so it is very cheaper in ontario and some other provinces but yeah in Alberta, it will cost like ten thousand dollars to get your license and it will take you like six months to get five six months it might take you lesser than that in some location some location maybe four months three months but here in uh in my location here yeah, so it takes five months or six months to get your license and you know uh if you cannot afford that ten thousand you can get the class three the three thousand let's say two thousand to three thousand the same thing depend on the location the school so your location and the school that you choose you know uh, but with that three thousand, it will take you like in one month. Within one month, you get your class three. Then with that class three, you can get a job with it. Then save money. Then go for your class one. So when you are ready to go for your class one, if you have a class three license, you only pay a fraction of the price, maybe like five thousand. Then you get your class one and all that. So now and uh, yeah, that is all about it. So now and experience. So now. Will my foreign experience count in Canada? Your foreign experience doesn't count in Canada here because the only foreign experience that counts in Canada is if you are from USA. But if you are not from US, then you have to go through the same thing. You have to go to school and all. But the thing that counts is that when coming, come with your own driver's license. Come with your driver's You see, you don't need any documentation. You don't need any certification. You don't need anything. Just come with your driver's license. It's okay. So... Some people will ask me, can I come with a signed letter from a truck driving community in my company? Can I no, no, no. So now you only need your driver's license from your own country. And that is that is all about that. So now and when you get here, you you know you present your driver's license at the registrar, you know, they will verify it, you know, you go for your knowledge test, you go for your uh, road test and you get your class five then with your class five you can go for your class one or your class three now um what what about job so after getting your license the job company will pay you based on your experience and i'm not talking about your company less your foreign experience they will pay you based on your canadian experience so you don't think like after getting that license you you are you 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 now you have eat a gold beat or something you become a millionaire no 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 most company you they will start from low they will start low for you like because you don't have any experience in canada so now most big companies that are ready to pay higher that are ready to pay you more will not hire you so most big company don't hire um 
uh, a, a driver with no experience so they only go for people that have experience because new drivers tend to make mistakes so they don't want to go through lawsuits go through problem and all that so they go for experienced drivers so that's why they pay you based on experience now but there are some some uh, small company let's say mom and pops small shops and they have a truck they will hire you because they want to pay you low you can start with that so you you know just start with that if you're a class three maybe they'll be like class three don't we'll give you twenty dollars we'll give you twenty five dollars per hour then you can start with that use that to gain experience at least one year experience you know within one year you drive in the snow you drive in the rain you drive in the summer you drive in the snowstorm you drive in all weather then for without one year you can go for a bigger company that will that are ready to pay you bigger money so because you'll be paid based on experience here in canada yeah so so now another question most people do ask me is is it worth it going into trucking yes it's, it's worth it at least a a job let's say a program that you spend ten thousand dollars to get you know uh you know a license that you spend ten thousand dollars to get definitely it's worth it like definitely you, you are going to get your money back and it's fun being you know it's fun driving if you love driving you just want to be away from everybody and all that then you can go for it so it's very very it's a very nice job and i will always recommend anybody and you don't even need to have any certification you don't need to have to go to school you don't need to you know you, you don't need to have anything so just get your license and that's it and there are so many opportunities from you know just for having that class one license so it's it's worth it if you are here as an immigrant in canada and you know you you you're still looking for what to do you know you just you have a family to feed you know it's not easy say uh being in canada jobless you know doing nothing and or let's say you're a family man and um you there's you you have so many responsibilities and all that and there's no job there's no that high paying jobs coming by then go for trucking line you know be it just go for a truck driver it's 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 it takes nothing it is fun um, that is just it it is fun being it's not back home in africa it might be like a dirty job and all that but yeah no like big boys like most people even go with their family like most those trucks if they are going on a long journey they will go with their family let's go for an excursion most people go with their dogs you know in the truck and that is just it's like it's 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 a very nice clean job and it's good you're going to feed your family feed yours you're going to live life rent you know build a, a house you know build for yourself build a house back home you know have a mortgage here you know it's, it's, it's a very nice paying job if you feel like you want to go for it i recommend i i'm going to advise you start the journey you'll never regret going into it and yeah. so now another question most people do comment is can i get an lma if i have a class one license i'll say yes or no like right now lma has become an hot cake due to you know most students uh with uh expired postgraduate work permit or most okay let me break it down before two three four five years you can get an lma if you have um a class one license but right now most students now there's something called postgraduate work permit that is all the students that finish schools in canada so now after you know they finish their study they you know the, the government give them postgraduate work permit so that they'll be able to work and when that work permit expired before the work permit expired you can renew you just renew you keep renewing your postgraduate work permit but right now they stop postgraduate work permit and most of these students that have this work permit and they don't want to go back home it's, instead of going out of status you know they always switched to uh, uh, LMI they, they, they are also looking for for an LMI jobs and this make that LMI now 
something that you don't just come by. You can't just see it anywhere because company now don't want to offer LMIA because there are a lot of people looking for it and there are a lot of traffic in it and there are so many scams, LMIA scams all, uh, everywhere. Even IRCC right now, you know, I believe very soon and like very, very soon they are going to stop LMIA, you know, because you know there are so many news coming out from those you know people scamming themselves it's just like cos in in uh like all those uk cos news and all that so very soon i think that the you know there, there will be a news very soon that the government will cancel the lmi stop and all that because whew, you know things in the desperation that is into this lmi thing all those fraudulent people are now using it to scam people and uh it's not something that you can just come by like seriously three four five years ago yes but now no 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 so truck driving in lma no like you it's it's not that easy anymore and um again is that can you can i find a company that will sponsor me and these are the questions i do comment i do receive yes uh most company will not sponsor you if you are not working with them if you are not their staff this is our company sponsor see before like three four five years ago you can find a company that will sponsor you if you are in canada but right now companies due to you know some shit that has happened People have misused those opportunity, and most companies don't like to sponsor people. You generally are okay. We are looking for a truck driver. Don't worry, we'll sponsor you. It's those opportunities don't just come by anymore. Like you cannot find. I don't know anywhere you can never find a company that will sponsor you in Canada because people before you have misused that opportunity so right now companies stop doing it but there are still internal sponsorship internal sponsorship means maybe they are, I employ you as a cleaner or maybe as a laborer or as a position in that company most of these companies have opportunity to grow programs so after working with them for a while you can just tell your manager or your HR that hey you know i would like to become a truck driver you know if the position is open so when that position is open they will ask you okay don't worry we'll send you to school and because you are part of their family you are already a staff they know you already so they know you are going nowhere and you know and you've been a good staff they don't just do it for anybody though so like you've been a good staff to them you don't have any bad record and all that so now they will send you to school and they will not some company might send you to school 100 percent and but most companies that i know that are doing that they will only send you to school they will be like don't worry we'll pay five thousand you pay the remaining five thousand and you sign a contract so that you will not jack back like a normal law with your lawyer with the common lawyer and all that not just paper and viral so you you sign a contract because so that you will not jack bar like hey you run away with you know because they are spending their own money and all that and there's nothing like free sponsorship anyway so uh with, with that most company that is all the only internal sponsorship that most of these companies do right now so that they only do it internally within their staff like they want to grow with the company question i do receive is can can I get a uh, truck driving job outside Canada? You know, one thing is that you cannot get a truck driving job outside Canada. Before, it is possible, but right now, it is not. Like, seriously speaking, if, if someone is offering you a job outside Canada, especially a truck driving job, and you are maybe in Nigeria or anywhere, and they'll be like, okay, don't worry, we'll bring you over here to come and drive. I'm going to tell you that check well is a scam like seriously speaking it's a scam the reason why is that uh now there are so many people like to get a driver is not that hard as before before it is possible but right now to get a driver it is not that hard as before you know that is it is not that hard to get a driver if you come in need someone it's not that hard as before now 
if a company sponsored you over see now sponsorship is not a month let's say okay i'm the owner of a company right now and i need a driver right away if i want to sponsor someone in nigeria at least for now it's going to take that company more than a year before you come to canada so that's it so i no company will wait for more than a year before you come that is just no coming will wait for more than a year before it is possible when there's scarcity and all that but now no nah, no drivers are not as scarce as before so it will, so now it is not that you know except that per, the company is a maybe is your family own maybe your brother your family that owns it they'll be like okay i'll you know you will bring you over to come and drive and even after you come here you still have to go to school to get your license so you can see like you still have to go to school to get your license and which it, it will be like six months after so no company will spend that money spend that time to bring someone instead they'll just look for someone here or they'll just look for someone that need lma then that's inside canada because it's very easy to get someone instead of looking for someone LMA outside Canada, they will look for LMA inside Canada. Like, hey, yeah, take the LMA, go to the border and switch it, and that's just it. So now, no company will look all those LMAs that you see, like, hey, the LMA, you know, outside Canada, nah, those are LMA inside Canada. Most of those companies are looking for people that already have class one that are just looking for LMA, you know, that is it. So now, and not you outside the country. So if you see anybody messaging you or you have someone promising you, and, and that person is not your family or is not someone that you know truly well then check well is a scam so i think i that will be the end of my video on that so now i'll see you on the next one <laughs>